you guys. Look what I just happened to stumble upon. It looks like Simplicity just decided to drop a whole new collection on us. I didn't see anything about it in email or online, Instagram, none of that. I just happened to be on here by accident and saw this photo and said, well, I guess I know what First Impression Friday is going to be this week. So let's jump right in and start taking a look at the patterns that they have for spring. Obviously, uh, Mimi G is still a part of Simplicity. I think some of us are kind of wondering maybe if she'll end up somewhere else based on the rebranding. But for now, here she is. She has a knit dress, knits only dress in two lengths. So it looks like in typical Mimi fashion, um, it's very, very fitted, low cut. Um, it's kind of hard to see all of the, all of it in one photo. How about, well, even that you can't really see. Gosh, their website. Um, we're going to look at it small then. Um, so yeah, it's got a deep V. It's also got a like, I don't know, a sl it's not a sleeve really. It's just like a little tab that goes over your shoulder. It's got these pockets. Gosh, and now that's in the way. Um, and it looks to be like, it's got like a midriff panel. So this empire waist seam, and then this is at your natural waist. Fitted, tight. See, it's more like a shield. I don't know what I don't know what else to call it. It's like sewn in to this midriff seam and then there's, you know, your underarm is under here, which is also covered. Um so this is like just an extra little panel thing. Um here it is from the side. We've also got little bust darts. Um oh and it looks like there's a back slit too. Here's that. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. We all know Mimi does it sexy. So this should come as not much of a surprise to anyone. But, oh, they're also touting her sew alongs now, which is cool. But here it is. And then here's the line drawing. This is kind of cool. I feel like I have seen this in some ready to wear. I would probably swap this skirt out for like a more A-line skirt. Totally easy to do, you guys. It's not difficult at all. Just find another pattern that has a waist seam and you can swap out the skirt for any bodice. But I do like this bodice a lot. It is really pretty. You could also use my tutorial that I did for the knit sew along to raise this if you wanted to do that as well. And then sizing, it looks like we've got, or fabrics, uh, stretch knits only, cotton interlock, ITY, and jersey. And then a little bit of lining. I'm assuming it's for the bodice. Less than two yards for dress A, which is the shorter version. And then um, just above two yards for B, which is the longer version. And then all these lovely finished garment measurements. So the bust is 31 to 46 and the hip is 35 and a half up to 51. So not the most inclusive, but not certainly not the worst we've seen either, right? Um, okay, and then did they say anything about notions? Oh yeah, uh, one yard of one and a quarter inch wide elastic. Hmm, I'm guessing that goes in here. In the waistband, not totally sure. And then the sizing comes in two different size ranges, 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. All right, that's the first one. Now we have a, what she's calling a bra top and gathered pants. <laughs> um, very, uh, I dream of Jeannie, in my opinion. But you've got... <coughs> Hello. You've got this little bra top. I mean, if we're even calling it that, you guys, this you probably draft this on your own. Um, it looks to just be like one giant rectangle with elastic at the bottom and then elastic at the top with a little paper bag, you know, seam there. And then you've got this little halter coming out of it. Um, and then the pants have, looks like three rows of elastic at the waist. Hard to see if it's, 
um, but certainly very relaxed. And then the three rows of elastic at the bottom as well. <laughs> Here's the pants in the back. Yeah, I don't think that's a drop crotch at all. Um, nice fitting in the back, I think. Um, although I'm not entirely sure what this is happening here. It could just be the way the photo was taken. And then the back, yeah, this, this looks like, you know what they sell for the little, little girls, like toddler size girls bathing suits. <laughs> That's what this is to me. Um, yeah, it's cute. I can see a lot of people making this, loving it, looking great in it. Not sure about myself, but I, I do think it will do well. I think people will like it a lot. Um, so yeah, there you go. And of course you can make the pants and then not cuff the bottom. That would certainly remove some of the I Dream of Jeannie aspect of it. Um, and that would be really cute too. All right, so fabrics, batik, chalet, gauze, jersey, lightweight stretch, terry, linen, linen blends, silk types, and soft cotton types. So yeah, it looks like they're going for, you know, the lighter weight wovens. Um, uh, they, I, I do believe they need to have a little bit of structure to them. They can't just be like completely drapey. The chalet to me feels like, my concern is that if you, if you made it in a chalet, all of the extra ease in the bra and all of this here would just fall over the elastic rather than kind of holding itself up a little bit. Does that make sense? Um, okay. Thread half inch wide elastic and then five, five and five eighths yards for B. Oh, so they all use half inch elastic. So half inch here, half inch here, 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 here. That's why you need so much elastic. My goodness. All right. And then we've got some finished garment measurements, a little bit negligible in the bust, also in the hip really, because um, it's just so roomy, but here they are nonetheless. And then the elastic, you would get your perfect waist um, fit there because you could adjust the elastic to whatever size you need. So, all right. Sizing comes in the same as the last one, 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. All right, next we've got a knit dress and tunic. This is the women's sizing, so it's 18 to 26 and then 26 to 34, and hopefully they'll show us what that means in the way of some finished garment measurements. But You've got a knit dress with kind of like this overlay that ties on one side. Certainly not something that, at least in the misses category, we haven't seen before. Uh, can't really speak to exclusively the women's category, but I will say I do appreciate the fact that this is fitted through the waist, um, fitted through the bust as well. I like that they are kind of accentuating some curves in all the right places. Nothing kind of bothers me more than when a company's like, we're a size inclusive, look at all these great um, sizes we include, and then all the patterns are like shapeless and oversized, and you're just like, well, I don't know that that's the point either, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it looks like it's probably pretty easy to sew, you've just got little armbands and neckbands, um, and then a little baby hem um, that has like a little bit of an asymmetry to it. Here's the back. Pretty, right? Simple, but flattering. And then it looks like we have a shorter version. A mid-length version, which is this. And then a longer version, which I think is what the model is wearing. <coughs> a, B, C, C. Okay, yeah, so she's wearing C, and then there's two other lengths as well. And then here's that. Yeah, not much to it. There's no darts. Um, pretty, pretty simple to sew, I would think. All right, size for stretch knits only. Jersey, cotton lycra blends, stretch velvet. That's nice. And ITY knits. Um, I could also see it in that double brush poly if you live in a warmer climate. Um... Oh, I didn't even really think about it, but it also has elbow length sleeves and three quarter length sleeves. 
It does take quite a bit of fabric because you've got the overlay. Um, so it's like pretty much like two and a half dresses. So two and a half yards, three and a half yards, almost four, depending on your length. And then look, finished garment measurements. So, oh, bust, waist, and hip. Love that. So 37 and a half inch bust up to a 53 and a half inch bust. And then the hip goes from 44 to 60. So I would actually fit into this pattern, but on the low end. So I would be cutting an 18W and then a 22W, and I would just fill in the waist accordingly. Um, so I guess that's one of the, the pluses of being at the high end of the misses, also puts you at the low end of the women's. Um, I would be interested to see how they fit because I'm assuming they use different blocks to like as a jumping off point. Um, so I imagine that this would be a little bit curvier. Um, you know how like in ready to wear, they have pants that are like curvy cut. I imagine that would kind of be what this would be in addition to the larger sizes. So that might be a cool little experiment to try out. Get a simple, basic knit dress, misses, cut it in my sizes, same thing for this one and compare and see if, I mean, maybe a knit dress isn't the best example because, you know, knit is so forgiving in the fit department, but you guys get my drift. All right. So yeah, there's that. 9259. Oh, look at this one. This is so on trend right now. I talked about it in my trends video. These flowy tiered dresses are like everywhere. Um, this one looks like they have misses and women's all in one. 2XS up to 2XL, and we will see exactly what that means when we look at the finished garment measurements. But this looks to have like a little V-neck plus a little like stand collar, and then it also looks like the the tiers are, oh gosh, how would I explain this? The tiers are sewn on top of the tier above it. You know what I mean? They're not necessarily sewn right sides together. Like you finish off this tier and then you top stitch it onto the to the bodice tier. Same for this one. You've got a long sleeve. I think there's a little bit of elastic there and then just a little baby hem. Here it is without her swooshing around. Here's the back. Yeah, look at that collar. How do you get into this? Do you just pull it on over your head? I don't know that the um, opening, this little opening is enough. But you can see here the um, neckline and collar a little bit better. I'm not sure that that is, illust I think the illustration, something's amiss between the illustration and this. Possibly this is too small through here for her, maybe, maybe. And that's why it feels like it's a little bit wider than it is long. Because look at this again, right? Doesn't that look like more of a sharper V and a little bit lower too? I don't know if they altered it to be higher or what exactly, but here is another version that had, so the last one was sleeveless. This one has this little um, lantern sleeve. And then look how cute this one is, a completely different version because um, it only has the one tier. Super cute too though, right? Here they all are. I like that neckline. I would just, it doesn't look like it's pulling. Like I don't see any gathers or any like where the fabric is strained. I just think I don't know. Maybe her hair is covering those things. I don't know. I just feel like this does not look like this. So that would be something I would be double checking. And then here's our line drawings. Oh, it also has pockets. Oh, and a center back zipper. Okay, that's how you get it. I was like, how in the world are you getting into this thing? Okay, that makes sense. So cute. I like that it has some shaping, even though it's an oversized kind of you know, blousey dress. I do appreciate that they at least put a bus start in. Okay, batik, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton blends, linen blends, rayon, poplin, shirtings, wool. Yeah, anything in that light to, I don't want to say mid-weight, but the lighter side of mid-weight woven, any of that stuff. Um, it does take quite a bit of fabric for almost five yards um, for the longest version, and then the shortest version is a little less than two and a half yards for the largest size. And then our finished garment measurements are 33, 
which is a little disappointing because um, I've been talking to some of the petite girls, uh, like the opposite end of the plus size market. And what they've told me, if you're like a double zero or a zero and ready to wear, your bust is around 30 inches. So this would be very large for them. Um, granted, this is finished garment measurement, so maybe there's that much ease in there. Um, I don't really, I don't know how much ease they want here. So maybe it would be just enough for those little girls, but or the smaller end of the size range. Um, but the 2XL only goes up to a 54-inch bust, um, which... I mean, what was the, um, here, let me just for, just because I want to know, what was the bust of this one that was a true women's? Um, this one went up to 53 and a half in the bust. Okay. And this one was 50, what was it? I already forgot. Oh, and it goes up to 54 finished. Okay. So yeah, it is pretty inclusive. Um, I think because it is so loose, um, they're able to kind of skip, you know, and there's four inches between each of these. I don't think you'd be able to do that on a fitted dress very well. So very forgiving in the fit department, which is why they're able to do that. Cute though, very on trend. All right, next up we've got Mrs. V neck shift dress. Um, <laughs> this looks identical to the love notions. Oh shoot. I literally just got it the other day. They have the same exact V-neck. I also feel like there's another one that the Tabor, uh, is it Soaholic who has the one that's just like this too? That's funny. All right. Well, either way, you've got a little shift dress with this like little crossover V no darts, no nothing. This one happens to be a little bit past the knee, um, center back seam with an invisible zipper. There's a little facing here too that you can see. This version shows bust darts. Yeah, those are some very hidden dust bust darts. Um, this one also has a little cuff here and it has little slits on the side. There's that one. And then you can also add elastic to the waist and come up with a version like that. So here's this little number. Really not much to it at all. Now I feel like we really are in the like the thick of the simplicity rebranding where everything is really simple. You could also do a lot of really fun color blocking. All right, Shally Crepe, lightweight linen blends, poplin shirting, silky types, soft cotton blends. Yeah, anything lightweight and drapey is going to be really good for this. You just need some fusible interfacing, I guess, for the facings. Two and a half yards for A with the sleeve, with a longer sleeve. And then finished garment measurements are 37 to 52 and a half, and then 40 to 55 and a half for the hip. And this is a pretty close fitting like shift dress thing. So, um, yeah, I'd be making, oh, actually it's not, I'd make one side. No, that's not it. I'm down here. Finished. So yeah, it'd be the same as me making any other pattern. I wouldn't really change my sizes at all. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm trying to confuse myself. I don't need to do that. <laughs> 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 on the size range. It does look like it fits her really well. The sleeve looks like it's in the right place. The sleeve cap looks nice. The shoulder, all that looks really good. So even though it's simple, they're, you know, doing it right. So, all right. This is a Mrs. and Women's button front dress. I wish we would have seen this a couple months ago because we could have added this to the voting for the sew along that I'm doing, but you can take what you've learned in the sew along that I'm doing for the shirt dress and apply it to this one if you like it. Um, so very traditional shirt dress elements. 
We've got the button front. We've got the collar with the collar stand. We've got, uh, I think, princess seams here that open out into, like, they release down here, I think. Um, you've got your sleeve that gathers into a cuff. And are those side seam pockets? You've also got a patch pocket here. And then this one is ankle length. They really did buy up a lot of this purple fabric, right? <laughs> oh, this one has more of like a stand collar only. Oh, and you can see the princess seams go all the way down. So there's that. Here's the one that the model's wearing. And then here is a short sleeve version. Here they all are. So yes, this is simple, but I also feel like it's classic too. Here are our line drawings. Right, really pretty shaping all through here. It's gonna look really beautiful on all body types. Batik, chambray, pinwheel corduroy, cotton blends, poplin shirting, lightweight stretch wovens. And then 13 buttons or 11 buttons, depending on which length you make, and then some bias tape. The longest, oh, the, the sleeveless version takes five yards. The one that's the middle length and has sleeves is a little less than five and a half yards. And then the short sleeve short version is still um, just under five yards. It's these princess, these panels are all cut, you know, one long piece. There's no waist seam. That's what takes up so much fabric. Um, and then we get finished bust measurements of 38 and a half up to 56. And this is a pretty fitted bust and in a woven too. So I feel like this is pretty accurate to, you know, how inclusive their sizing really is. It's really, really pretty. Really pretty. Okay. Now we have tops and pull on skirt. Okay. <laughs> um, what do we have here? Some kind of, is this just a raglan? No. Some kind of detail here that would make me think it's a raglan sleeve, but then you also have this, which is that a sleeve seam? Is this supposed to be a drop shoulder? I, don't, I can't really tell what's going on there. You've also got these little, like, I guess, welt pockets. And then what's really interesting is the skirt is elastic waist, but also has pleats. I do not understand that. And I guarantee you that if she were to pull up her top all through here, this would be like one giant, like, bubble. That is just so odd to me. Um, okay, so here's the sleeve detail again. Here's this center back seam. Like, why is there all this fabric if there's an actual sleeve? I'm not understanding this at all. Here it is in the line drawing. Why isn't this all just one piece? Okay, fine. Let's just assume that they wanted to add some different style lines. Hers does not look like this smooth at all. Her, she's got so much extra. I guess it's just too big for her. That's all I can think of. Or maybe it's the, it's the block that they're using because this is one of those that was Mrs. And women's, right? Right? No, only to XL. Then I have no idea what is going on. But look at this, elastic waist and <laughs> pleats. I don't get that either. This is this is going to be a pass for me simply because I feel like even to get the top to fit right would take a lot of work. And then I just have no confidence that this area here would not accentuate my least favorite part of my body. <laughs> like if you have like a lower belly, like a pooch of any kind, 
it's going to, the elastic is going to sit above it. And then this is going to be flat over it. And then this is going to open up underneath it. What do you think that's going to do to your body? Like, no, thank you. But we'll go through the rest of it just because. Um, okay. Batik, chambray, cotton lawn, double gauze, lightweight blends, soft cotton blends, and wall. No shoulder pads. So I'm not sure why there's so much ease in those shoulders. Um, and then you don't need a ton of fabric and the finished bust measurements go from 35 to 52 inches. But again, as you saw, it's very, very, very roomy. Okay. Now we have a dress jacket and a top. I traditionally love these like wardrobe patterns because they are like the great base, a great basis for like a um, capsule wardrobe. You can just buy one or two fabrics, make it all up, wear them together, wear them separate. It's a really easy way to get dressed. But what do we have here? So we've got a, let's start with the jacket. It looks just like an open front jacket, maybe no closures possibly. And some version of a notched collar, drop shoulder. Then you've got your sleeve. Um, really, really wide sleeve opening, but it opens into a cuff. And this um, jacket, it looks like it uh, is hemmed to about the low hip. And then underneath, we've got a dress. All I can really see is the center front seam right now. Maybe there's more. Here's the center back seam. It looks like the dress has the drop shoulder too, but no sleeve on it. Here is the dress. So yeah, all it's got is that center front seam. Here's the top, same thing, just shorter. And then here's the jacket. Jacket has um, side seam pockets and I was right, no closure. So very simple, not a lot of pattern pieces really pretty shape to the dress, even though it has very few seams. What's going on in the back? Nothing. No darts, nothing. Same thing with the jacket. All it has is this, is this little pleat that opens up to give you some ease and that's it. Um, chambray, linen, linen blends, rayons, silky types, soft cottons, Probably depends on which version you're making. Like, I don't know that I would make um, the jacket in a rayon necessarily, but the top I would. Um, so you just have to keep those things in mind. And then the dress is two and three quarters of a yard. The top is more than one and a half yards. Wow. And then the jacket is two and three eighths yards. That, all that seems like a lot. But I guess if the front... Well, it's two pattern pieces for this top. I don't see how that's one and five eighths of a yard. That to me would be like a one yard wonder. Maybe there's some kind of like facings or something that, I mean, you probably do them in, in different fabrics. I don't know. That, that seems like a lot. Um, okay. Finished bust is 33 inches up to 58 and a half and that's for the top and the dress. The jacket is even more relaxed, more loose fitting and goes up to 54 inches. Yeah. I imagine the dress is really, really flattering on lots of different body types. Okay. Now we have a uh, women's lifestyle wardrobe pattern, jacket, knit top and pants. Look how cool her shoes are. Hold, please. Aren't those cool? Hmm. Okay. So, jacket has shoulder dart, button front, no collar. It's a little long in the shoulder. Um, but I do think the sleeve is really pretty. You know what I mean? Though this is a little, is it supposed to be a drop shoulder? We'll have to look at the line drawings. You also have a center back seam and then pockets. Here is your knit top. 
grown on sleeve, no big deal. It does have these little slits here. And then here is the jacket. So it's not a shoulder dart, it's actually a princess seam. And then something special going on with the um, sleeve here. And we've also got these pants, elastic waist pants, shocker, um, that have this little opening here. Let's look at them, oh yeah. Classic little trouser. Nothing super special. Okay, well. It's a little disappointing. And those of you that, that are in the women's size range, let me know what you think. But it's a little disappointing that the pattern we just looked at was basically this. Um, it had a dress instead of the pants. But the jacket for the Mrs. version had that really nice collar. This just feels, I don't, I don't know. It's not not cute. It's still cute. It just feels like a little less special maybe. Do you, do you, do, like there's a, um, does the, do curvy girls, do uh, plus size women like or not like collars? Did it, does that like draw attention? I don't think that would draw attention to your face and your neck and you would like that. I don't know. Um, okay, so the top is for knits only, interlock and jersey. And then the um, jacket and pants, denim, linen, linen blends, rayons, and tinsel. Thread, buttons, elastic. This top takes one and three quarters of a yard, but it's both the back and the front are cut on the fold. So that I can kind of see I guess maybe um and then the jacket is two and a half pants are a little more than two and a half finished bust for the um knit top it's gonna have negative ease so 40 inches to 54 inches and then the jacket has a little bit of ease to it so it's gonna be a little bit has extra um wearing ease 45 to 59 inches and then the hip for the pants is 44 and a half to 59 and a half so there we have that two different size, two different envelopes, 18 to 24 and 26 to 32. It does look nice. I don't like it as much as I liked the first dress though, but I guess that kind of just depends on your overall style too. But like, I don't see why they couldn't have made this jacket in women's and vice versa. Honestly, like, I don't know. Okay, now we've got top and pants in two lengths. Okay, so I like this collar that they're doing this round where it's just a v-neck and then the collar is sewn like into it. It's like a collar, but not all the difficulty of a collar. This has got to be a drop shoulder, right? That's got to be very intentional. This is also a gauze fabric, if you're curious. Um, hemmed to three-quarter length. Some buttons. And then they've got it half-tucked into some elastic pants. Really straight line pants. No big deal there. I don't see any pockets. Nothing. This fabric does lend itself to kind of looking like pajamas a little bit. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but... There you have it. <laughs> it looks equally nice in like a crisp shirting too. So that's kind of what this alludes to. You also have this um, forward shoulder, which I didn't notice before, which is nice. You've got a shorter sleeve, little um, side slits. Here's your pant. I don't even think the pants have pockets. They're just about as basic as basic gets. You can also do it in a short. You can do it in a short, <laughs> come on. There we go, slow to load the images today. All right. Yeah, not a lot going on here, right? Here is the line drawings, yeah, very intentional drop shoulder. No, yeah, no, no real shaping, no yoke, no nothing. Like very, very simple. It is a really cute design for the neckline though, I really do like that. All right, cotton and cotton blends, double gauze, linen and linen blends, poplin, 
rayon tinsel uh, thread buttons and elastic for the waistband and then up to two yards for the top uh, about two yards for the short sleeve top two and then the pants are two and a half ish yards and the shorts are one and a half ish yards finished garment measurements for the tops uh 38 and a half up to 55 and for the pants and shorts 36 inches up to 52 and a half Yeah, I probably would never make the pants, um, and it's debatable whether I would make that top or not. So, Are they all kind of starting to look the same to you guys now? Um, I think we have yet another elastic waist pant <laughs> coming up, and a light flowy top and a light flowy jacket. So here we go again. Um, this one has like a square neckline. This one opens more like a robe drop shoulder, wide sleeve, patch pocket. <laughs> it does have a wide leg to the pant. Here is the outfit without the jacket. I see a bust start here. That might be it. Facing for the neckline. Here's the back of the jacket and the pants. And the back of the top. Come on. Okay, we're going to skip that one and just look at the top. The top does have bust darts. The neckline's somewhat interesting, but you can, you can do that yourself to another little tank top pattern. Here's the jacket. And then here's the elastic waist pant. And here is the whole on below let's try this one again there we go yeah nothing going on there okay so here are oh no <laughs> they copied and pasted the wrong picture this is the back would not have darts in it um <laughs> so you just have to ignore that but um there's the front and back of the jacket and the front and back of the pants they at least put pockets in this one to make it a little bit more different I guess and then shally crepe linen rayon and soft cotton types for the fabric suggestions and then thread and some elastic for the pants you don't need any special notions for the top or the jacket and then that this top is one and three quarter I do not understand where they are getting these estimates from there's no way that's right how is this one and three quarters of a yard? I can make a dress out of one and three quarters of a yard. That makes no sense. Okay, jacket is two and three eighths. Pants are two and three eighths. Finished bust, 36 and a half to 52 and a half. Then the pants go from 37 to 54 inches. You think the, I guess the top and jacket have the same finished bust? That can't be right either. Okay. All right, now we've got a little bit different of a silhouette, slightly. We've got a knit cardigan, top, and pants. So it's a little knit capsule wardrobe, lifestyle wardrobe pattern. Um, very classic knit cardigan, sleeve, set in sleeve, buttons down the front, some little tank top or t-shirt possibly underneath. Um, that has a bit of a higher neckline, and then your pant is like a pull-on drawstring. Um, not really wide leg, more like a straight leg situation. Here's the back of the pants. Look like they fit really well. Back of the cardigan. Here is the line, not the line drawing, but the illustration of the um, cardigan. Yep, that's what a cardigan looks like. Here's your little knit tank top. And then here's your drawstring pan that actually has a really nice slash pocket. These pants actually are quite nice. You've got the little grommet detail, the drawstring, and the elastic. Um, and then the nice straight leg. 
I would consider this pattern for sure. Um, just because I don't have like any really good cardigan patterns. I definitely don't have any good like jogger pant patterns. The tank top is whatever, but yeah, the pants are good. The pants are good. Okay. All of you size for stretch knits such as active wear knits, bamboo, ITY, jersey, modal, rib knit. Yeah, okay. I don't know that I would make all of the patterns in all of these fabrics, but regardless, there's some really great um, knit fabrics you can buy um, for home sewing nowadays. So, um, okay, six buttons, elastic, cording eyelets and then optional beads for the cording too. Um, this top takes one yard of fabric. That makes perfect sense to me. It's almost like they use the measurement for the 45 inch fabric for the 60 inch or something. I don't know. The cardigan is like one and a half yards. There's some interfacing, I think probably going up the button band. And then the pants are two and three eighths of a yard. The top for the bust measurement for the top is 32 and a half to 47 cardigan is a little bit looser so that goes up to 48 and a half and then the pants hip also goes up to 48 and a half i don't know about that i think it probably goes up higher than that this is probably an error another copy paste error all right now we have gosh there's quite a few patterns Cute. Okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Where are we here? Um, really cute. Mrs. Knit Top with scoop neck and sleeve variation. So this is another one of those Mrs. and women's in one. Um, 2XS up to 2XL. It's knit, so again, a little bit forgiving. But look how cute these options are. So you, everybody has the same bodice, right? Plain bodice, knit um, band, neck line finishing. Then you have this cute little gathered shoulder, um, like bubble sleeve. Here it is from the back. You have this sleeve, plain, simple sleeve. This is the one that she's wearing. And then you also get this sleeve here, which is definitely different. I'm not entirely sure how plain sleeve gathered sleeve and then I don't know how they're able to do this I don't know are those like little pin tucks in there or something not pin tucks but what's it called what you do to a bustle I was gonna say what you do to a wedding gown are there like bustles in there or something something special is happening in there for sure um here is the envelope I kind of wish they didn't just throw this version away with a plain sleeve but I mean okay fine <laughs> Um, and then, of course, you can do it sleeveless. Of course, you can lengthen this. Um, you can add a frill or a ruffle. You can really, be, okay, fine. You can hack this to do lots of different options. All right. Uh, knits only, bamboo, cotton knit blends, interlock, jacquard, jersey, and modal. I wish that they showed the, I know they're not going to show the ruler on here, but at least gave us some idea of the knit percentage, the stretch percentage. Because if I were, if I bought this online and then wanted to go shopping right away, I couldn't, I wouldn't know what to get, but no notions. Um, one, one, see, this doesn't make that those other patterns, something was up with the yardage estimates for those tops, because this is one and a quarter yards and this one has a full on sleeve. So either way. Finish measurements are for the bust are 30 to 51, and for the hip, it's 28 to 49. Actually, not a ton of, um, there's not a ton of ease in the hip. I mean, they have hers showing that it's not completely fitted, but 49 inch finished for the hip is like just barely a little bit larger than me. So. Okay, now we have this top. 
it is top and two lengths. Okay, so we've got a, um, she looks so familiar. What actress or singer does she look like? I can't, maybe Dua Lipa? I don't know. I can't really pinpoint it. Either way, we've got a rounded neckline with a little notch. Drop shoulder into this sleeve with these really pretty pleats. Um, I think this would be a lot more effective if this were narrower opening. And I just don't know what to do about these, like, baby drop shoulders. Like, either drop it like it's hot or <laughs> don't drop it at all. It's like, when it's in the middle, it just doesn't know. It, it's hard to tell if it's intentional, you know? But this is a tunic length. It's got the curved little shirt tail hem. Here's the back even got the yoke. So some winks and a nod to a, um, like a button down, but, but not. Um, and then here it is in the shorter length with the little slits on the side. You've got, um, this little sleeve. This is a really cute version. Um, that would probably be a great stash buster. And then you've got this one with a little bit longer of a sleeve. So there are your three options. Here are the line drawings. This makes sense. I, well, it's the same thing. Like maybe, maybe it's her shoulder is a little bit, maybe she just has a wide shoulder, right? And if it were a more standard shoulder, it would drop off a little bit more. Maybe that's what's going on. But this looks like it's barely, barely a drop shoulder, whereas these line drawings make it look like, you know, it comes down a good inch or so. So something to check if you're going to make this pattern. Whoops. Um, okay. Fabrics are lightweight and drapey, I'm assuming. Chalet, chambray, cotton types, gauze, linen types, and soft shirtings. Um, all you need is some interfacing. The top is for A with the sleeves um, and the longer length is one and three quarter yards. Top for B. Does it A? Do they all have the same length? I thought it said two lengths. Is C shorter? It's too hard to tell whenever they do two rows like this. But either way, B is one and three quarters of a yard as well, and C is one and a half yards. Finished garment measurements for the bust, 39 and a half to 55. Pretty roomy there, though, you can see. Okay. Next, we have a knit top and two links. This one's fun. So, you've got your basic knit top almost the same bodice as the other one, except at the high hip, you've got this little seam with a slit and this asymmetrical one patch pocket. <coughs> That's as cute. I like this. You've got your sleeve with a cuff. The sleeve opening is a little bit big still, but not nearly as egregious as some of the other ones we've seen. Here is like a full view. It's cool and different, right? I can see it out of like a mid-weight jersey or a lightweight ponty, and you can even see here, I can't zoom in anymore, but there's a little slit here um, on the sleeve cuff. So that's a cute detail that kind of mimics what's happening here. Oh, there's also princess seams. So you have a decent amount of like shaping and fitting going on. This is the same, but without the sleeve cuff. And this is the same with a short sleeve. And then you just substitute the little, you know, fancy band for a plain one. Here is everyone together. This is cool, right? I like this. I like this. Not a lot going in the back. Not a lot going on in the back. Um, yeah, I think you would just need to double check where this hits. Make sure that it is truly at your high hip. If you're short-waisted, long-waisted, whatever it is, um, make sure this is hitting, you know, at your high hip. And I think you have a cute little top. Okay, so they are recommending cotton interlock, cotton linen blends. Cotton linen blends? That's not a knit. Hmm. Jersey and Ponty. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I would stay away from like the too much lightweight drapey like rayon jerseys for this one too. You need some structure for this little detail. Okay, one and three quarters of a yard for A, one and five eighths for B, and one and a half for C. Finished bust measurement, pretty fitted in the bust, 37 to 51 and a half inches there. Cute. Now we have vintage jeans. Uh-oh. With front buttons or a zipper. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Giving all of the indies a run for their money. Look how good these look. Okay. So traditional jean details with the waistband and the belt carriers and the fly front with the top stitching. Um, you've got your little curved pocket. Ankle length hem. Here's the back. With the um, back pocket, you've got the yoke and then still with all of the top stitching. Five pocket, there's a little coin pocket there. And then I think this is going to be the zip front. Yep. Zip front option there. So, yeah, there's only two versions. There's the one she's wearing, which is the same as this. And then there's the zipper front. Everything else about them is the same. They've got, you know, they're not like constricting skinny jeans like you've seen, but they definitely have, you know, a taper to them. Here's the line drawing. I guess they even tell you how to do this little swoopy thing in the pocket. That's fun. Let's see what they recommend for fabric. Cotton blends. Oh, like as if you were going to do like a little trouser. Okay. Cotton blends, linen blends, stretch denim. They don't say how much stretch though or what weight. But they also have stretch woven, which would be like a um, cotton sateen, stretch sateen, something like that. And then they have twill, which doesn't have any stretch in it at all. Huh. Okay. Thread, denim needles, jeans, buttons, or um, a zipper. Um, two, up to two and quarters of a yard of your fashion fabric. You need some cotton lining. For the pockets and some interfacing. Um, the finished hips go from 35 and a half up to 53. It's definitely worth me maybe checking it out because it is the women's block, because it is the women's sizing. I wonder if I would have better luck with this than I have with some of the straight sizing from the indies. I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous about the fabric requirements. Maybe I could peek into the envelope and see if they give any deeper insight into fabric requirements. But they look great on her. If I could make jeans that look like this, I would be like over the moon. Over the moon. Yeah, 10 to 18 in one and then 20 to 28 in the other envelope. So cool jeans. Wow. Good for them. Okay. Now we've got this skirt. Okay. So hear me out. I know these skirts feel a little dated, but these are everywhere. Like button front shin length skirts are a thing. They're definitely happening. So they are on trend with this. I like them best in like super lightweight drapey fabrics, but you can go a little bit heavier weight um, looks like they might have chosen a seersucker maybe. And I can't tell if that's a separate waistband or not. I think it is. Yeah. Cause then there's some pleats that come out of here and then you've got your button band and pockets like little slash pockets. It's a nice detail. You've got the pleats in the back and a center back seam. Here it is. Maybe longer length. And then you've also got these top stitching details, which are really nice too. 
Yep. Yep. Okay, so three links that we've got. She's wearing A, the longest one. I wouldn't go shorter than B. Um, I mean, obviously you can if you just want like a shorter skirt, but to, to really fill the trend, um, it is below knee, uh, knee, below your knee. Uh, yeah, they're all the same, just three different lengths. Let's see what they recommend for fabric. Uh, chambray, cotton, denim, poplin, rayon, and seersucker. So they're going a little bit heavier weight with the fabric recommendations, but like I said, you can go lightweight, you can do the rayons, um, you can do like the real drapey fabrics, the silky fabrics, all of that kind of stuff. Thread and then some buttons, fusible interfacing, two and three eighths for the longer version and only one and three eighths for the shorter one. And then your hip measurement, which I wish they would give in the waist instead of the hip here because the hip is so roomy, but 38 and a half up to 55 on this. Okay, cute little button front skirt. Um, we're gonna skip the scrubs. I don't know how scrubs are supposed to fit or look. Um, we've got some fashion face covers. Oh, this is interesting. This is right off the runways. A lot of designers were like rethinking the mask and how to make it like also cute. So here's one with the scarf. Um, this one just kind of like is like a gator kind of. Here's one with like a handkerchief scarf. So, okay. Did they have to put the Middle Eastern looking girl though? I mean, did they have to be so literal with that? Um, <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> then we've got unisex tops. This is like, it reminds me of, um, like Columbia, like the brand Columbia, like those kind of like outdoorsy types of stuff. I don't know. Gosh, you can tell I spent a lot of time outdoors. Um, but it has like the big patch pocket, like the utility, you know, <clears throat> it's got this pocket with the zipper here, a half zip. They put her in and him in some kind of neck piece. Oh, I think that's a, um, uh, like a scarf slash face mask, but then it's got these really cute sleeves too. Um, and then you have the, the drawstring that pulls this in. Let's see. Oh, here she is with a water bottle. Okay. So I guess you're like going hiking and you also need a face mask. So, cause you're walking past people. <laughs> I don't know. Here's the back. I don't, is this her back too? Oh gosh. Look, you can put a whole water bottle in the back. That's amazing. I wonder if honey would fit in the back. And then hers has the same. She just zipped it closed. It's kind of cool. Very practical. You know, it's definitely something that you might need like one of in your wardrobe. You never know. Um, kind of like the windbreaker that I made, but without a hood, which has its own place. Here's his in the back, a little bit longer. And then you've got this version. It's more like a shirt um, that doesn't have the drawstring on the bottom. Or I guess, is that his version? I don't know. Then this one, they put in a snake print. That's an interesting choice to be out in the outdoors and be mistaken for a snake. Am I right? Oh, the pants are also included, which I didn't realize. And I actually like these pants a lot more than the ones that came with the sew along windbreaker that I did. So um, these are a maybe. Let me go back and look at her pants. Are these, oh, these are sweatpants. So you do this in a woven and this in a knit. Interesting. And then you also get the pattern for the little neck scarf thing, <clears throat> which I think is like just a very small infinity scarf. Okay. And then he's got on A, C, D, A, C, and D. Okay. So this longer version without the elastic is what they're calling the men's version, but obviously a woman can, a woman can do that too. I don't know about a dude wearing you know, a drawstring elastic at the waist, but you know, to each his own. Um, so, but they are like pinning this one, the, the women's version and then man and a woman both wear these sweatpants and the same necktie. This is interesting. This is a little bit, I don't know. This is a little bit like 
I guess, unique, uh, which is great. I don't see a lot of patterns um, calling to this demographic, this lifestyle. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Sizes are alphanumeric, extra small to medium, and then large to 2X. Um, where was the, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so for the, okay, so, okay. Fabrics, they're saying cotton type sweatshirtings, nylons, ripstop, poplin, denim, or twill. So they're saying you can do the pants and the jacket in the same, but they did them in different. So well, I don't know about that. Then the neck piece, they used knits for sure on. And then you need a whole bunch of notions. Uh, just two and a quarter, two and a half yards for the jacket, three yards for the pants. And then the neck piece, the neck piece takes more than a yard of fabric. Are you serious? Something's not right here with that. I'm, I'm calling BS on that. Um, finished garment measurements. So for the jacket, men, man or woman, um, 39 and a half to 59 and a half. And then the hip for the pants, 35 and a half to 55 and a half. I guess if you're going to make it, I mean, sweatshirting isn't super stretchy, so I can see why they included that in there. Maybe this could be a fun little make, you know, something a little bit different. Like I said, I got to find out where I would wear it first though. All right, we're skipping the men's shirt, skipping the children's dresses. I think this is going to take us to the end. Yep, that's probably it, you guys. That's Simplicity Spring. Look at these cute bags. You can put this one on your walker. This one has a fun little vintage detail. Definitely worth um, coming over here and checking out some of these other patterns that we just, I just don't review for <laughs> First Impression Friday because... I mean, what am I going to say about appliance covers? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Super cute, but like, I don't really know how to review those. Same thing with like men's and children's and all that. It's cute. That's all I would say over and over again is, oh, how cute. Oh, how cute. Um, not much, not much um, like critical thinking going on there. But anyways, that is going to do it, you guys. I, I think that my kind of my wrap up here is that simplicity is still sticking with their guns with the simple, simple stuff outside of a couple of exceptions. They're still doing the solid fabrics. They're still doing very few style lines. There are a few outliers here, but for the most part, all the silhouettes are pretty much the same, <laughs> which Maybe a problem to you, but it also maybe works for you. I mean, if that's a silhouette that you like, obviously you're going to like a lot of these patterns. There are some hidden gems in here. I love this. Love this. I love the, um, there was a, the, oh, the shirt dress is okay. This is very on trend. Um, I like the neckline of that one a lot. So there are some, there are some pieces I can pick it out. The jeans are going to be with me for a minute. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, and I've got to find a skirt like this. I don't know if it's going to be this one or something similar, but um, having that kind of skirt has got to be in addition to my wardrobe this year. Oh, and maybe this too. I don't know. Maybe I actually like more of it than I realize. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you'll be adding to your cart, what you'll be um, picking up at the next big Joanne sale. It looks like those are regular and frequent all over again. So would love to know what you guys think. Leave a comment, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.